Have you ever stopped to think about what your phone actually is? Like, if you went back 500 years and picked up a lump of earth and told someone that you could see your mum's face in the palm of your hand and talk to her, they would think you're crazy. Like, next level crazy, burn at the stake kind of stuff. And yet here we are, tapping, swiping and video calling on what is effectively a lump of planet Earth, a rock that glows and talks and somehow knows where you are. But this isn't clever engineering. This thing is cosmic. Think about the insides, the metal, copper, gold, tantalum, forged in the hearts of dying stars, scattered across the galaxy in supernova explosions, some of which then ended up here on Earth. And then we dig it up, we refine it, and it ends up as the circuitry inside the device that you hold in the palm of your hand. Take the glass screen. It started its life as sand, the same stuff that you find in your shoe after a day at the beach. But melt it, shape it and polish it and you get glass. Even the plastic case has a story because it's made from oil and oil is ancient life. Dead plants, plankton and creatures from millions of years ago turned into black sludge and that black sludge became the case of your phone. And here's the thing, the sand, the metal, the oil, it's been around us since the dawn of humanity, and yet it lay dormant for so long. What changed wasn't the stuff, it was the knowledge that humans created. Explanatory knowledge that let us become modern day alchemists that transformed raw earth into technology. So the next time you pick up your phone, remember it's not magic, it's better. It's fire and physics and four and a half billion years of cosmic drama crammed into the palm of your hand.